Hello, today we'll take a look at how to highlight the maximum value and points in a combo chart. A combo chart lets you display charts with different scales of measurement on a single chart. We'll combine a clustered column chart and a line chart in this example. This chart can be useful in analyzing trends and identifying areas that may require further investigation. The highest sales year was in 2019, however, net margin doesn't show the same trend. I would love to hear from you, so please leave a comment below and if you are yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe and notification buttons. Thank you. The first step is to set up our data. Here is data on sales and net margin. So in the chart, this will be series one and series two. Now we need to create an additional series for each category with the use of a helper column. This is an additional column where we'll write a formula to determine the maximum point. So I'll move this aside and create the helper columns. We'll make use of three functions, if, max, and na functions. The if function returns one value if a condition is true and another value if it's false. The max function returns the largest value in a set of values, while the na function returns the error value na, which means no value is available. So type if b4 is equal to type max of b4 to b8. Press F4 to make that an absolute reference so it doesn't move when we copy down. Comma. If true, return B4. If false, return NA. The chart will ignore the NA values so they won't be displayed on the chart. Close the bracket and hit enter. Drag it down. Cool. Let's repeat the same formula for net margin. If D4 is equal to the maximum of D4 to D8, F4 to make it absolute, if true, return D4. If false, it should return NA. Enter. Next step is to insert a combo chart. Go to the Insert tab. Under Charts, click on Insert Combo Chart. Click on the chart elements icon and uncheck the chart title. And grid lines. Right click on the chart and select change chart type. A preview of the chart is displayed here and you can edit the chart type and axis right here. The chart type for sales and the helper should be a clustered column chart. And net margin should be a line chart. Change the helper net margin to line with markers. Both should be on the secondary axis, so check these boxes. The preview looks good, so click OK. Next step is to format the chart. Click on the bar for helper sales. Press Ctrl 1 to open the format pane. Under Fill, change the color to green. Next, go to Series Options and make the series overlap 100%. That way, the helper series will be on top of the main series. You can adjust the gap width to reduce the space between the bars. Now, go to the chart and click on the line. Go to Fill and Line. On the line, change the color to yellow or any color you want. And check this box to make it a smooth line. You can reduce the weight as well. Next, go to the chart and click the marker. Let's go back to line. Click no line. Then go to marker. Under marker options, select built in and change the size to 10. Let's change the type to diamond. You can choose different shapes here and even use a picture or an icon. Let's move to fill, change to green to match the bar. The chart is looking good. 
Let's go to the format tab to add some more format. Click on the chart, go to shape outline and select no outline. Now let's add some gradients to the bars just to make them look pretty. Now to ensure you're adjusting the right series, go to current selection to select the series. So select sales from the drop down, go to shape fill and add a little bit of gradient. Go and select upper sales and add a little bit of gradient as well. Now let's insert a shape from the insert tab, a rectangle, draw above the chart. Type a title and format to your choice. Click on the bars and add data labels. Place it inside and change the font color to white. Double click on the marker and add a data label. Place that above. Lastly, let's delete the legend for the helper series. Double click on each one and press delete. Our chart is ready. Let's see if it works. I'll change the sales value. Cool. Let's check net margin as well. Oh, cool. <laughs> you can create this chart separately as well, just like I did here. You can download the file in the description box below. Please give this video a thumbs up and share with others. I'll see you in the next video.